Good afternoon. I'm not a public speaker, and my face will turn red, probably the same red as this poster over here at some point. Um, so I have got some stuff to talk to read off because I'm not the uh, most confident up here. So I just thought I'd start by introducing myself. My name is Graham Fuller. I'm a uh, FSA teenager fellow like yourselves, and I'm currently a teacher of physics and a lead practitioner at Harris Academy, Chafford 100, as part of the Harris Federation uh, MAT. When I started this course, like yourselves, I was in my second year. I was in my second year. I was working as assistant year coordinator. Um, so I'd had some experience of sort of leadership roles. So I was here with a bit of experience. And some of you in here will have more experience than that, and some of you will have less. But the beauty of this course is that, irregardless of where you're at, this will give you the skills and the understanding required to become a good leader in education. We started the day, as we had mentioned there, uh, with Baroness Sue Campbell, who really stuck with me with what she said. Um, she was fantastic because she's an outstanding leader in both education, but in her own field, and she's currently head of women's football at the FA. And what she said about leadership and the styles and qualities made me reflect on my practice and myself and where I wanted to be, the skills I possessed, the skills I had none whatsoever, and the ones that I needed to develop. It taught me the difference between leadership and management and when one is required and when the other is needed. And it's something that I really would like everyone in here to take note of, is the differences between management and leadership. Now, I'm not necessarily going to spoil them for you now, you'll learn a lot about them this year, but it's really important as leaders to know the difference. Now, we're all here for our own personal reason. Um, education brings out the best in people, it brings out the best people, in my opinion, because it's definitely not for the money or the work-life balance. But the fact that you've all got this drive to define, direct and develop the young people who sit before you is what will ultimately determine the sort of leader that you will become. Now reflection is a bit of a buzzword in education, um, we hear it all the time, but it is important and even more so as a leader. It is not just the students who you're reflecting for, but the staff you're working with, and the term with again we've heard a few times today, and it's those staff that will look to you to lead them and the students to the next level. And this course will continuously get you to reflect, and you need to be open to reflect on your practice, highlighting your, both your strengths, but more importantly, your weaknesses. This project developed me and my leadership and my perception of leadership successfully. Now, that might sound big-headed, but I know this is true, because following my completion of this project, uh, I started this year in my new role as lead practitioner at Hatch, and I'm currently managing um, a number of staff, say managing, managing and leading, I should say, um, a number of staff who are responsible for our training members of staff. So anyone who trained using Schools Direct or PGCE, your mentors, I'm responsible for those members of staff and currently working with leadership <coughs> to develop myself into assistant principal in the future. Now I want to take a slightly different approach at the end of my talk, just to talk about what leadership now means for me and its purpose in education and why in the current climate of uncertainty uh, why I still want to become head teacher, which some people might think is a bit crazy. Now, leadership, I think, is about bringing people with you, bringing them, on, bringing them with you on a journey to a better and brighter future. And this course has really made me understand what leadership is at its core. The students are the heart of everything that I do, and should be, really, everything that you do too. And if it's not for the students in any way, I will forever question, what's the point? Why are we doing it? What is its purpose? For the students are our product. We produce human beings who will be diverse, constructive, and fantastic members of society. And leading to me means that we must focus on the dreams of those students. And as leaders, we will be really important in getting them to where they want to be. Not where we want them to be, not because they're predicted a grade seven, but really where they want to be in their lives. It's their lives. We need to just help them get there. And so, because it's their dreams that are important, I wanted to show you a quick video. It's an advert for Nike. Some of you may have seen it. And if you look past the sporting bias and the marketing of some of the more recent controversial figures in here who like to abuse officials at relatively high profile tennis events, um, you will um, hopefully see a little bit of a message that I already talked about. I think the important message from that video, which some people are thinking, why the hell is it just hard to show us an advert? I'm not being endorsed by them whatsoever as much as I would like to, um, is 
<clears throat> that it's only crazy until you do it, whether that's your career or the dreams of our students. And this course allowed me to sort of look at leadership in a completely different way. And I feel it's our role as leaders to engender this thinking into the ethos of our schools, to teach people that no matter what their dream is, it's not crazy and it's not out of your reach, and that we train them to take hold of that future and to give them the tools required to get there and to instill that sense of character that that dream isn't just going to come along on its own, that they must assert themselves to get there. This project made me the leader I am today and I do have a long way to go. But by having the students at the centre of everything I do, of all of my thoughts as a leader and a teacher, I know that whichever, whatever um, the decision I make, whether it's a difficult one or an easy one, I know that it's probably for the right reasons. I just want to finish by saying, take a hold of everything that this course offers, because you probably won't get an opportunity like this again. Go out there and lead both staff and students to a future that whatever their dream is, however crazy it might seem, how far away it might appear, it's only crazy until they do it. What sort of leader will you become? Thank you.